Hello everyone, welcome back to our uh, IT series and today we will talk about how to implement database via communication. It means that if we have database as a source of notifications for new records, for new messages, for new events, very short. We know that you are busy, we value your time, let's go. As I already said, imagine that we have a situation when we have, a, for example, some source application which are inserts some data to our database and we have another application or even a list of applications and we have to notify this application about new uh, rows and new data in the database. I think that you already had the same situation uh, when you designed your application and uh, uh, let's uh, let, let's think about which classical way do we have here yeah, very important addition and today we are talking about only Microsoft SQL Server implementation yeah maybe later we will talk about other uh, database systems anyway what does it mean classic implementation it means that this the first implementation which will come in your head let's say this is the same implementation which you could implement 10 or 5 years ago uh, let's say that, uh, that we have source application and this source application using direct SQL query or some storage procedure just insert data to the database that's all now we have new record you you can process the data in storage procedure uh, some triggers will execute but nothing nothing it means that your destination application one uh, uh, will not nothing about this new record until this destination application using the same uh, some similar query storage procedure uh, by some timeout using timer using some interval We'll just pull the database. Sounds like give me an update. Give me an update. Give me an update. Oh uh, yeah, it, the solution is not beautiful. It means that you you are uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, you you eat a lot of resources without necessary. It means that, for example, if you will have uh, database events like two times per, per hour but you you have to know immediately you will pull your database each second and it will uh, eat your resources calculation computer resources today is 2020 i think maybe we have another more beautiful solutions how to do that before switching to no standard implementations i'd like to mention of course about let's say semi-classic implementation uh, it's also very popular and uh, we have to mention it in any way it means that we have source application which send data not directly to database but to some dispatcher application and only after that this dispatcher application inserts data to the database and the dispatcher application notificates all our destination apps we are via different ways and protocols yes it works but of course the solution uh, has its own pros and cons the special uh, app has to be stable it's additional application with uh, uh, additional let's say source of mistakes and errors and so on okay now how else can we do that the first option is my favorite one uh, we, we can and we have to create TLR user defined function. It means mm, from I don't remember the first version as of uh, SQL Server, but you can write some, uh, let's say, C sharp uh, library, upload it to the to SQL Server, and you can uh, execute code from this C sharp code assembly library from your directly from your. Uh, storage procedure from your trigger it means from your uh, SQL code 
beautiful solution. Uh, and by the way, maybe you can do that on, not only in C sharp, you can write in comments, uh, but, uh, and you can deploy this library in different ways. It can be like compiled library or it can assembly, or it can be even like a, a text file, like a binary a string file inside your SQL code if you want to deploy this library to the server. Amazing. How does it work? It means that, of course, we have some source application. This source application inserts data to the database, and uh, you know that uh, it can insert using story uh, procedure and in this case we can execute our uh, CLR function or of course if it inserts directly to the table we can create trigger trigger will execute and inside the trigger SQL code we also can call and execute our CLR function the second option uh, yeah we even can Let's say for SQL Server, we even can create HTTP records directly from SQL code, but we have to use only automation. And of course it has its own pros and cons. The third option, uh, we can use uh, Microsoft notification system inside Microsoft uh, SQL Server and using service broker, we can send these notifications to uh, let's say to uh, to another application for example on this machine i'm not sure can we do that uh, via network or even net internet but locally we can do it and some service your custom service application can monitor these messages yes all these options maybe maybe we have more options but this is what i wanted to share with you uh, let's discuss their pros and cons. Now let's discuss pros and cons of the solutions. And again, uh, maybe you will find much more different pros and cons and nuances, but all these ones is from my experience. Uh, if we're talking about CLR user defined uh, function, it has to be developed, of course, in some other language. For example, if you are using Delphi, you have to know C sharp. Compatibility with other database systems. Of course, if your database have some some this uh, uh, feature, if you will want to go to, for example, for uh, MySQL server, uh, you won't be able to use the solution. You will need to rewrite somehow and re-engineer uh, this idea. And sometimes security. Um, uh, I'm getting some feedback that if, for example, you don't have a master access uh, for the uh, database you won't be able to implement the solution i don't think so because as i said we can deploy our user defined clr fun function as a text just like a text like sql server uh, uh, query uh, i think that uh, it should be solved if you're talking about all automation uh, yes if security is matter yeah, sometimes it's dangerous if, for example, you don't have experience at a uh, SQL Server Administrator. Uh, yes, it's not a uh, cutting edge technology today. The same thing with SQL Server Notification. Uh, I, it's it's very old solution. Uh, sometimes it's very not easy to implement, it's too complicated, and of, uh, of course it will have different limitations, especially if we if you want to create your notifications uh, and send these notifications to, to internet to totally other systems, computers, networks, you will have such limitations. If you will, if you know something else, which also is very important, please add to the comments. Thank you. Thank you for coming. See, see you on our next IT series. Bye bye.